Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to give you an introduction into Ready Buttons in Microsoft Excel and make sure you watch until the end to know how you can use Ready Buttons to take your Excel spreadsheets to the next level. So what is Ready Button? Ready Button is just basically a button where you can select one option or the other. So here we have an example with a survey. Um, and we have three questions, how to read the food, customer service, and overall experience. And based on what you select as the um, option, there is an individual score for every single question, ranging from one to four, one being bad, four being awesome. Um, and overall score is the average of these three scores. Um, and with Ready Buttons, one of the awesome things that you can do is you can, for example, um, have an if function based off Ready Button. So based on what is select as a as a Ready Button, you can have different things be done. So to walk through that first, well, make a new make, make a new spreadsheet. Now, before you can work with 30 buttons, you have to have the Developer tab on your Microsoft Excel workbook. As you can see, I have it up here. If you don't have it already, um, to just show you really quickly how to get the Developer um, tab on your spreadsheet, go to File. Towards the bottom, there's Options. And then you're going to want to go to Customize Ribbon. And then um, there, towards the bottom, on the right hand side, there should be a little box, checkbox for develop, developer. If that is not clicked, then click it. Um, make sure it's checked and then click OK. And then the developer tab is here. Now to insert ready buttons, uh, what you do is you go to the developer tab, towards the middle under controls there is going to be an insert option, an insert. And then under form, con form controls, not ActiveX controls for this scenario, but form controls, there's doing this little dot looking thing um, in the top right, little dot. So option button, form control. So click that and then you can just click and option buttons will appear. Um, and this is great because you can either select it or you can unselect it or you can unselect it if you have multiple um, ones. So as you can see now we have two of, two of them. And ex now one thing to note is that Excel automatically assumes that um, they are related to one another. So if I unselect, if I select the second option button that I just put in there, the first one will unselect. Copy and paste this one more time. And now, if I select the third one, then you cycle the one select. Um, so to edit these just a bit, there's not a ton of editing you can do with these without VBA, but you can edit the text, for example. So to do that, you click on option button, right click, and then towards the model, you can do edit text. So you can say just option, option one, right click on the second option button, edit text, option, two, then right click on the third button, and then edit text, option three, and give it space. So now we have option one, option two, and option three, um, and then I'm going to go to view real quick and turn off grid lines to make it look a bit better, but so we have option one, option two, and option three, right? But one of the really cool things with option buttons is that you can link them to a cell in Excel, right? So, and to do this, you right click, format control, and then you can first initially choose if you want to have it um, um, checked or unchecked, and go to far, far right control. You choose if you want to have it checked or unchecked. You can also have give it a little bit of a 3D effect by clicking on 3D shading, which we're going to click for this example. Um, yeah, but cell link. Now, let's just say you want it to. This will be linked to G5. So, a couple things to note. One thing to note is that it, it now has a 3D effect. Um, for the, that one option button has a 3D effect. You know, right click it. So, right click option two, format control, just give them all 3D shading. And then right click option three, format control, 3D shading. So now you can see they all three have 3D shading, which makes it look a little bit cool. Um, but most importantly is that, as you can see, so one thing is that, is that they are all linked to cell G5. 
So if you right click option one, there's a one. If you right click option two, there's a two. If you right click option three, there's a three. And this is super useful because you can now have um, an if function or a choose function or something based off this. So that way you can say equals if that is equal to one, then do something. Um, if not, and if not, then if if it, this is equal to two, um, but have functions based on these buttons. And one thing to note is that as well as that is Excel automatically kind of assumes that these option buttons work together. Um, they they also assume that the that, that they are linked to the same cell. And as you add additional option buttons, the same thing um, is kind of assumed that is going to continue with the previous option buttons and that is going to also be linked to the same cell. So copy and paste a few more. Put it the text. Option four. Is the next sex option five? As you can see, now when you click option four, there's a four, and option five is a five. Um, but what if we don't want? Um, what if we just don't want to have all the buttons linked together? What if we want to have a scenario like, for example, where we have a survey where we want to have them grouped together? So four, four option buttons here, four option buttons here. And four option buttons in, in, the, in the third question. So to do this, what you can do is you can go to the insert tab and go to group box. So to get, kind of show you how that works, so I'm going to copy and paste these option buttons really quickly. Control C, Control V. And now, as you can see, um, Excel still assumes that they are linked. Where you see option one here is it changes uh, G5 to be a six, option two, a seven, option three, eight, so on and so forth. But you can actually make your own separate groupings by going to the developer tab, insert, under form controls, you can do group box. And then you can make groupings around what you want to have as your groupings. So now, Whenever now one thing to note too is we're gonna to have to um, relink the relink the second group real quick. So as you can see, um, it's not linked to anything. So to do that, right click again, format control, cell link. So just say G fifteen for example. And now they're independent. So option one for, in the second grouping it, it is it's one. Option three is three. In the first grouping, option one is one. Option four is four. And now I can see they are groups that are working independently of each other. Another thing to note too is that you can assign macros to, the, to, these, to these option buttons. Um, so you can assign a macro and um, have a lot more flexibility and customization um, for your option buttons by assigning macros to them. This is not a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial, but just one thing to note is that you can assign macros to them. Also, there are some kind of visual things that you can edit, just that I would like to touch on real quick. Um, so to do, so to kind of see what you can edit, you can right click on the button, go to format control, colors and lines, so you can change the fill of the button, for example. Um, you can change the line and click OK. Kind of give you an example of what it looks like. So by changing the line, as you can see, uh, there's a box around the button, which is good, so, which is useful. Um, take a visual effect as well as to, so you can, if you have multiple buttons, then you can also um, kind of place them a lot easier. So as, as you can see, I have green format, a green fill. You can adjust transparency of the fill. Um, and you can also change the width of the line, just some the style, some flexibility with that as it comes to what you can do with the fill and the line for Excel for the buttons. Now you can also adjust the size in here, which can be useful if you want to have some sort of exacting 
is we have some sort of exacting whenever um, making the size. You can also lock the aspect ratio. And this is useful because when the aspect ratio, basically what it's saying is that the ratio of the of the length and the width stays the same. So whenever you drag the corner, it will just the ratio of the length and the width will stay the same. So like the rectangle will not change um, in the way it looks very much, other than size. So right, so right click, up the same option button form control protection. You can also have a button lock, lock this, or lock the text, um, which can be helpful if you're protecting your sheet and doing things with that. You can also it kind of adjust the properties. Um, so you can so you can choose so you can have it to where it moves but doesn't size the cells, or you can have it to where um, it doesn't move or size with the cell. So that's so that's useful um, if you when you're working and keep in mind you're working with these. Also, just option op, op, you can also adjust the text for the button in here and um, the control. Again, you can when it, have it checked or unchecked, change the cell length or have it three D shading effects if you'd like to. And just click OK. And one thing to note too is when you're going to shape format, those are kind of the things that you you can do. Um, you can also set them forward or send them backwards. So, but but there isn't but that's, there isn't really tons that you can do. Not at least not as much as you could with a normal Excel shape um, when you're working funds in Excel. It's a little more, bit a little bit more limited when it comes to the group boxes. So clicking on group box, clicking on group box, right click. Again, you can also send a macro to the group box. But you can also go to format control. As you can see you can have 3D shading if you'd like, which can make it cool. You can adjust the text in here. You can also adjust the way that it moves with the different cells as you adjust cells that may impact the group box. You can choose if you have it locked, a locked object or locked text, which is again useful if you are locking your worksheets, workbooks. You can also adjust the size in here. Um, you can also lock the aspect ratio. To keep the width and the ratio of the width and the length con constant, but with that said, um, you know, going on a shape format, there isn't really things that you can do. You can't even um, like adjust the text or the, the shape super the, the color shape super easily. So if you want to make this transparent, you um, it might just be best to put a shape between the the buttons in the group box. Um, to kind of make it where it's, it's there but not visually there. So that's it. I hope you found this introduction to option buttons or forward slash ready buttons to be useful in Excel. Um, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and like the, this video. Also, there's free stock in the, in the description. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.